All right, excited to come back home uh, after a road trip and uh, play in front of our crowd. So got a lot of work to do this week, a lot of things to clean up, penalties, red zone, pass defense. And um, this team's really good that we're playing. Clay Helton does a great job. You know, these guys went into Nebraska and won a couple years ago. And so um, we've got to continue to improve and get better and clean things up. Like I've said after the game, there's a lot of positives to know that, you know, can have a 34 point road win against an ACC team and, and not play up to our standards and leave a lot of points out there. So, um, like I told him today, it's a good and bad thing. It depends on what you make of it. It's really good if you change those things, take care of the ball better, make better decisions, then you can be a really special team. Or it's a bad thing that you're that talented, and then if you ignore these things as the teams get better, these will come back to haunt you. Lane, I know you and Clay go back a, a ways. What's the relationship like with him? Clay's awesome, one of the finest people I've ever met, been around, a wonderful human being, great wife, Angela. And um, I was telling the story because they were asking the staff about how did you first come out with Clay? And it's another one of, you know, <clears throat> my dad's things where he just had a way of finding really good coaches and things. And I didn't know anything about him, who he was. and. We were at USC and we we're looking for a quarterback coach. And he's like, you need to interview this Clay Helton because the year before we'd been at Tennessee and uh, Clay would have been at Memphis. And they did a really good job on offense. I believe that's where he was. And did some really good scheme stuff against my dad and us at Tennessee on defense. And so um, he said, you need to interview this guy. And he was at Arkansas State, sleeping on his office couch at the time, <laughs> and just taking a job there and um, interviewed him and um, was just really impressed and really good coach, great person. Lane, uh, kind of echoing what you told us Saturday night when we talked to Dart and a couple other players, they were, I think Dart even said, the ugliest 600-yard game that could ever be played. Does it feel like the where y'all trying to get the chemistry and the mindset of this team is there when they're saying that same thing after a game like that? Yeah, I saw some players said that. Obviously, I felt that. But for the players to say that, uh, I think says a lot. It says a lot about where our program is, how we think, um, you know, where it was before we got here or when we first got here. And now that, <clears throat> you know, and encourage our fans, like I said, at the beginning of the year, like enjoy what's going on, um, you know, because there certainly were days where, you know, you wouldn't have been finding issues with 34-point, you know, road ACC wins. You'd just be happy to, to win. Um, I think, you know, that coach in there, they were they were 4-0 and against the SEC teams coming into that game. So it just shows a good standard of the expectations of how to play and, and then their internal expectations of – you know, the process and not just the outcome of the game, you know, but playing really well uh, because you're going to need to as the opponents uh, improve. Could you give us any insight or elaborate a little bit on what's going on with Ulysses Bentley is not playing any more than he is when we were anticipating more playing time from him? Yeah, I, that's nothing negative about Bentley. I think that <clears throat> um, – you know, there's some of that in our program. You know, we have a really good roster. And I've told our players, you know, there's cost and benefit to everything. And there's a huge benefit to having all these good players. Got a chance to be really good. You know, the cost is everybody didn't get to play as much as they like. And that's happening all over the place. Uh, I should say, but that's happened with a number of our players. And so this is not anything Bentley's done. The other two guys have have played extremely well. Um, you know, Bentley missed time in the spring, and um, we have great confidence in him. And just in that game, it was kind of pass heavy, and uh, we really were just going, he really hadn't gone to the third back, which right now he is. Um, so that's why, why it was. And 
the good thing is when you, when you have to make those hard decisions like that and somebody, a veteran player, isn't playing as much as they like, at least we're playing really well. The problem is when you don't and then you're struggling and the guys on the bench go, well, we ain't even scoring. You know, we're on defense. We're giving a bunch of points and the guy's not playing. So it's kind of hard to argue right now when, you know, the other two are doing what they're doing, especially Henry. Coach, uh, Key Lawrence was a big – you know, maybe even been a starter in camp, and he got injured, and I think he's back. Do you, do you really miss him back there in the secondary? Well, I think the guys are doing a good job back there. He has missed a number of time with injury, had a concussion, just got back. Um, so, and again, that's, you know, one of those things too. You know, sometimes, you know, when you've missed time and you're not able to, you know, have all those reps and everything, sometimes you're at a disadvantage. And so, um, anticipating playing really well on special teams, he played 10 snaps on special teams and and getting back in the flow on defense. How have you seen kind of Bentley, I guess, uh, embrace his new new role? Um, he's done a good job, played some special teams, um, you know, and, and I feel for the players when it happens. It happens all the time in the NFL. Um, so, uh, he, he's done a good job, and that's not easy to do. And after looking at the film, how, how what do you think of the impact of Jerquan Scott at right guard, and, and what do you think of the offensive line as a whole? Well, Quan is coming back from an injury, so you know he probably didn't play 100%, but you still saw his strength in there and how, how good he can be. Um, and really, that was his first week back practicing. And so we rotated in there some, and um, We'll just keep, you know, finding the best mixture of guys. And as you see, we're also, you know, not just playing five. You know, we're treating it more like some other positions and rotating guys through. Questions? Do you anticipate Jerquan playing any center moving forward? Uh, yes, I do. Um, again, we're in the mixture of figuring that out. And we've had some injuries in there with – three inside guys being out. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out the best rotation in there. And last week, he being his first week back, we played him at guard. So his first time back wasn't on the road playing center and in his position that, you know, he was he played a lot more reps at was guard. When you, when you talk about the secondary needing to pick it up a little bit, one of your concerns earlier, is that more safety talk or – Corner talk. Well, I think that really was um, more safety. That really pass coverage, you know, and the penalties, you know, um, just too too many times we're grabbing guys and um, you know we're getting beaten coverage in there. So you know something they've got to work on. Like I told them, once you put something on tape, you know, and one guy has all those penalties, they're going to target you. So you better improve. I know this is a next year thing, but with Wake off the schedule now, you guys don't have a power four or whatever we're calling it. These days you've got to add one. Is there any progress in those in that process? No, I mean, obviously we've got a lot of stuff going. You know, really a very abnormal thing for Wake to do. So I'll put it in neutral words. <laughs> um, you know, you usually don't do that a year, you know, in the season before it's hard. There's not people to play. So it's why you do scheduling in advance and you make deals and you go and play there and they come back. And so, you know, that was really not something I would just say that's rarely ever done. I've never really heard of doing it and it really puts us at a big disadvantage and is what it is. Obviously wasn't appreciated very much. Um, them put us in that situation and you know, now we got to go find somebody and most people are all scheduled up and even when you find them, then you got to go pay them. So, Kind of unwritten rule not to do that, actually. Does it have to be a game on that date, or does this, like, I haven't even looked at next year's schedule, but does it open up, like, the idea of maybe having to play a week zero game or whatever at a neutral site? Yeah, I mean, we're looking into things. Um, you know, but again, it's hard because everybody's got schedules. So um, there's a lot of dominoes in there. Um, and, you know, we, we had a power four team scheduled, you know, and them to play. and. 
So I guess <clears throat> a team before when they've had an issue has, you know, gotten a waiver to get to pass the SEC rule of a power five team at the time on your schedule. It's not what we want to do, but again, they may have put us in an unavoidable situation not to. Along those lines, Coach, if you, if you can't get a power four team it, it, at this late a yeah, day. I find it really amazing that you wait until the week of the game to tell the team. So, I mean, they thought that that was going to disrupt us, you know, and John Curry was like, oh, we're going to tell them the week of and disrupt them. So maybe that was their game plan for the game. If you if you can't this late a date can't cannot get a P four, does Ole Miss get penalized or do you, I mean what do you do? Yeah, that's <clears throat> like what I was saying. That well, what I know is that you'd have to get a waiver to the SEC, um, you know, to not have a Power Four team as one of your four non conference. So that's not what we'd like to do. But again, I don't know that we'll have other options. All right, thanks.